Hey, what's up uh, Transformers? And uh, this is Noman and Bilal on the Transformation Show. And today uh, we're changing a little bit. Um, in the past few shows, you've been seeing uh, Bilal opening the show and um, ask me, asking me a bunch of questions. So he's learning from me about um, the market disruption and the journey of excellence um, in this market. But today, um, I wanna learn a few things from Bilal also. Uh, because in this uh, environment we are learning from each other and one of the aspects that I want to uh, focus today is experiences we all have experiences experiences in life and these experiences make us who we are what we do where we go it are, are our experiences that uh, make us um, my philosophy in life is either you win or you learn so in either case you win or you learn um, from your experiences you make um, a step forward and uh, you move forward so Bilal now he's um, Bilal wh where where are you right now in um, in your studies or where are you what what are you doing these days let me ask you this to start with so uh, hey Transformers uh, how's everyone doing uh, again and um, to go back to uh, my father's question right now I'm studying at uh, Wayne State University at Michael School of Business I'm doing a uh, global supply chain and psychology major with a minor in marketing and I think that this is a very strong uh, degree that I could use in my business life and also in my uh, work life I want to grow and proceed um, in, in, this, in this industry and uh, my, the industry I want to go in is consulting and uh, discussing people, um, help advising them how to grow the business and uh, using that knowledge to grow myself as well. Okay, very good. So uh, I, I've been watching you for a number of years, Bilal, um, as a father, but also um, as a person from the outside as well. Uh, so I saw you um, when you were about 14, 15 years old um, you dabbled into your first entrepreneur um, endeavor. Tell us about this um, Royal Prince, how you started, where were you in this in your education, and how this idea came to your mind, and how did what type of experiences, learnings did you get from this um, uh, experience? So um, I started Royal Prince, uh, which is the company that I built and sold. I started this in about uh, 2014, 2015, uh, sophomore year, junior year of high school. And at that time, I was looking at the industry and uh, on social media, um, it was uh, booming, you know, bracelets, necklaces, accessories to wear for men and women. And uh, at this time, I thought that maybe I should start off with a few uh, bracelets to sell here and there just to see what the market is like, uh, doing a market analysis at, at that time. And uh, then I decided to build uh, a business plan and see where that can go in uh, 12 months, uh, 24 months in time. And um, I grew that uh, quite a bit. I grew to uh, United States, Canada, UK, uh, Italy, China, Australia. And I had a big, uh, a very good return on investment and the reviews and testimonials I received was uh, outstanding. And I think that um, the main issue or uh, obstacle that I had during this time was uh, creating content for people to enjoy and um, really be a part of this uh, social media campaign but um, I really I talked to a lot of people I made a lot of connections in those years that I had this company going and uh, I grew it um, to about 10,000 followers and I sold it and uh, the major success I got from this uh, was the experiences I made and uh, what not to do and what to do when you start a company or when you're able to um, really grow really grow yourself and grow, the, and grow that business. So that's what I did with Royal Prince from I would say 2015 till about 2018. Okay, so let, let me ask you a couple of specific questions about this uh, Bilal. Um, how did you make your first sale? The first sale, yeah. is that is like the, for everything you do the first time is the hardest, and I think that it's just the uh, confidence and courage you put into yourself uh, to really deliver um, 
the the achievement, you know, of, of selling. And at that time, I think I wanted uh, the the new iPhone or uh, I, a new laptop or something. So I was really driven by those goals at that time to really sell as many braces as I could. I had a, a whole uh, timeline of how many I need to sell per month or per week in order to achieve the goal. And that was uh, the first time I sold it. And I remember the first time I sold it uh, to a friend, his name is Alex, and he bought it uh, from me for seven or eight dollars. Okay, all right, so very good. So uh, so you, you had the courage um, and with very little knowledge of selling uh, but you had this courage to um, take that first step mm -hmm. and it helped you to move forward of right course. yeah okay then um, after this um, we moved to Europe for a few years um, how do you take this experience into Europe and what did you learn over there did you continue um, selling uh, this product in Europe yeah so actually what I did was when I started it in uh, here in the United States um, we had the opportunity to move to Europe and uh, I think that if anyone has the opportunity to move to a different country other than their own it's totally worth it uh, having the characteristics of uh, different cultures inside of you is uh, very beneficial especially in this day and age when every everything is worldwide um, and uh, very uh, like m multiple countries and multiple cultures you know so globalization yeah, exactly. about globalization yeah, exactly. no, yes. globalization and so when I started uh, selling over there in Italy, uh, at first I didn't really have many friends uh, because um, most people spoke Italian and only Italian. And so I had this uh, issue of connecting with people, having building relationships. But as uh, as I said before, when you have a goal in mind, you get to that goal and it's you're driven by it. And so that goal was about six months. I want to be as proficient as possible so that I'm able to communicate with my friend around me. And then once after those six months uh, were over, then I was able to really communicate with friends, uh, build new relationships, and uh, really grow Royal Prince to where it was at that time. Okay, very good. So um, tell me about Europe, staying in Europe. Um, what experiences did you get by your, um, your stay in, in Europe? You, tr you stayed in Europe, um, you, you went to school in Europe, you did your uh, the last two years of high school in Europe, but then obviously in those years that you moved around uh, pretty much everywhere in Europe. Um, so tell me about starting with Italy, what, was, what did you saw in Italy, what was the culture, what did you learn from there, and what else did you learn from traveling um, across Europe? So one thing I'd say is traveling across Europe um, was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, I wish to go back to Europe as well uh, to do even more traveling, you know. But um, when I was in Italy, uh, I, we went to Switzerland, Germany, France, Spain, uh, the UK, uh, you name it, every, every, almost every country in Europe. And the, the specific point that I, I noticed in every single country was that the value of friendship and the value of uh, uh, affection towards friends was um, very significant and that's what I learned from Europe and this is what I bring not just here back in the United States but also in uh, where, where, wherever I travel you know I built friends from Australia I built friends uh, from South Africa England uh, India Bangladesh uh, Croatia Slovakia so because because of that I I'm till this day I am still connected with these people on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, we we really um, enjoy each other's company when we just uh, chat over the phone or we text each other or we send each other pictures. Okay, good. Um, in terms of um, the culture, one of the key aspect of of Italy um, is fashion. Yeah. So there, are a lot of. Um, the big brands or uh, the best brands um, globally are present. They start from from Italy. Um, tell me how is the this fashion uh, has helped you uh, in in terms of um, developing your personality and 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 who you are today. Mm -hmm. So fashion is um, I I adore fashion and I really like fashion. Uh, buying new new pieces of uh, clothing here and there and uh, going from designer brands to just normal everyday uh, type of uh, type brands. 
But uh, going back to fashion is that uh, it really built me because the things I wear today are because of what I saw in Europe. And the, the fit to, uh, to the material, uh, understanding uh, how something is uh, made and uh, building relationships with the, the clothing itself because each piece was built in a way uh, or worn in a way um, that has history behind it. So this is something that I really enjoyed and in, even to this day I enjoy when I, whenever I go shopping, I buy things um, to build a, a memory around, you know? So if I go and buy some Gucci shoes, I, I, I build a, a strong memory around of uh, what happened that day uh, what feelings I had, uh, um, who did I see, who did I meet. So I really en en enjoy that and I want to continue that uh, till, till forever. Oh, good. <laughs> That's <laughs> expensive, <laughs> man. That is expensive. Gucci <laughs> shoes. <laughs> uh, you definitely got to build a lot of memories <laughs> around spending money. Of course. So good luck, uh, good <laughs> luck to you, Bilal. Uh, so uh, let, me, let me ask you this. So. Um, I know you you had um, um, you you had a passion you had a vision to go to a business school mm -hmm. you you wanted to be in business you are an entrepreneur yeah how this experiences the experiences that you had helped you get into the the program that you you're in right now so one thing I would say is um, I appreciate my advisors that uh, have worked with me in the last uh, year and a half uh, to get me where I want to be and where I want to be in the future as well. So um, I would give a shout out to all the advisors that helped me. But um, apart from that, I think the experiences that I built over the years, um, when I put it down on paper, people understood what I wanted and where I wanted to be. And that really helped me get into the micro school of business and uh, to connect with those uh, strong the, like the higher professors, advisors that really um, grow you and grow your business and your studies as well. Oh, good, good. So, um, so just uh, I just want to wrap, wrap up uh, here. I, I'm going to ask you a, a few more questions, Bula. Um So, what what are you doing these days? Tell me about what are you doing do these days what is a new new experience uh, new experience that you're having these days so these days um, I'm working with a company called Zipcar uh, they made me a brand ambassador of their company to promote and to sell their products and Zipcar is a car sharing app uh, in Detroit that needs to be built even further and so um, they contacted me to ask how they can build their social media uh, presence um, through me and so they put me as a brand ambassador for the company and uh, I had to just promote their their, um, their company they would give me uh, uh, free shirts, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, stickers, pens to use so that uh, other people can see and ask what it is and uh, if you would like uh, go to zipcar.com and use my uh, code WINGSTATEFALL19 um, in order to get 50% off uh, your next purchase. Good, good, good. So is, is, is your previous experience of selling or connecting with people is helping you to connect the, this, the, the thought that, that you have, um, they're trying to promote Zipcar. Is yeah. it, that, that help you? Yeah, it did, it did help me because, because of Zipcar and because of my past experiences, uh, my growth uh, with relationships and building them has not stopped you know it just kept growing 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 and uh through social media i've grown maybe five six hundred seven hundred almost a thousand followers since i've come back from italy uh and when i started zipcar uh promoting zipcar in in, in the end of august i was really profound on what i saw when i promoted their uh that brand and a lot of people asked me and i built friendships and built relationships from that okay no, very good, Bob. So um, uh, I'm going to uh, stop here. Um, obviously, um, who's Bilal today is is because of his experiences. and um, But it's also because of you. Oh, no, thank you very much. Yeah, I know, I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, but, um, but I think he, is, he has a lot of dreams. He has the courage to pursue his dreams. And uh, by making these experiences, these small steps, he's, he's taking one more step towards his um, vision towards his dream and and this is what this whole journey is all about um, mm -hmm. is about moving forward 
It, it's, it's about learning new things, taking, making those experiences. So uh, I'm gonna speak with Bilal maybe on and off um, some more about his experiences. I know he's, he's got a couple other initiatives that he's doing that I love to talk to him about uh, those initiatives. Um, but anyway, um, uh, for right now, uh, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, all the best and um, uh, we'll, we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Thank you.